Hello, everyone. On the on the bottom. Who is this, Melody? Ah, oh, it's Melody. It's me. Is it cold? Hi, Grandma. Um, actually, it's really nice and sunny. It's uh, it's cool though. It's in the seventies, so not too bad. Hande on day. That's on. Is she in there? No. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kathy's here and Miss Velma, and that's it so far. Okay. I'm sitting. Okay. You going now? You hey, going Velma. Okay. Hello. Hi, Grandma Dorothy. Hello, hello, hello. Say all day, Bob, Bob, Bob. <laughs> Our elders used to, their favorite saying was, Honde I call. Honde I call. Honde I call on. Call on. Oh. Yeah. They didn't necessarily mean call on because you didn't have money. They meant call on in age and being, you know. Oh boy, call on because you're nice. Have good giving ways. There's many ways to be called on. And there's a call on when you're really nice to everybody. And they always said used it in an affectionate way. Like one day I call on because they don't suck. It was really a lot. You'd have thought we were the four poorest people in the world. The grandmas would start playing. Oh, yeah. Con them dots at the. You know, if you're asking, if you hear them asking for something. So Honda are caught on. Yeah, and those were more. Players were harder during the World War, like Korean War, and during the World War Two. And it really is a good gift to remember all the elders. I see Jack Frankidota and his wife while I go on, on Facebook. Uh, her name is Egon. He said she was the strongest Yodi woman in the Kiowa tribe. Hot then. That was uh, Jack Frankidota's wife. From they live with him. Frankidota's do now. Like they did area. So we like oh, wow. I had not talked to this classmate of mine from Riverside. I have I no known picture of her. And I finally found one on the that Indian collection. And we were still at, in uh, high school at Riverside when her and Wonder White Fox joined the Marines. And, uh, I never heard from them again because we went separate ways. And they're both gone now, and I often wonder about them because there was a picture of them and May Cedardale and Carnegie. Look at that. There's some wonderful pictures in there. Uh, oh, wow. June Argus Joker when she died with Princess Dorothy Rhodes. Dang it, Velma's having a party over there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got a mute. It's uh, America's Got Talent that's on. <laughs> Somebody trying to drown me out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, Grandma D. Hi. Uh, let's see. So far, it's uh, me, Kathy, Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, and uh, Miss Velma. Sunday, I'll call on. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> it did worse than it. Sunday, I call. I call. Maybe I hate it. No, I call. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just move out of the way. I'm I'm poor. <laughs> My grandma <will> get worse. <laughs> so one of my sprays now just came out. It's called 49 
Moonlight my uh Moonlight Mile is the edition. So Oh wow. Um, I know it smells like uh patchouli because a lot of our uh people like the patchouli smell, the men, so I made you know, it it's uh it's sad that y'all grew up with memories like that. Oh the like my yeah, stuff like that. That's all you're going to ever know about our ways and why people sing those songs or traveling songs. You know, they're not uh, a beer case. No, no, no. And everything. But the way I see where they're going to have a contest today, I'll shut up right after this, but I got to say it. They're having an enjoy yourself something in Carnegie. Well, they're insulting to the start because I've been teaching that men very seldom holler when they're dancing. That's an ancient way of a warrior when he's going to war or he hears a song and it sounds so good that they're stingy with those. People are doing Lulu contests. I gave up on that already. Oh, yeah, that's right. But this one, they're going to have a woman doing a man holler. Oh. In our Red Buffalo Hall, and they're going to give prize money. I would be caught dead imitating a man dancing or a man with his warrior holler. That's Kiowa ways. I thought they knew better. It's the only way I'm going to get that message out to anybody. Thank you, Melody. I told you about it last night. Oh, I know. It's crazy that they're doing that. It's we can... the fourth annual is somewhere. <clears throat> and then they grab it, but they want to be. They'll, they'll criticize when you try to teach ancient ways. But they can go and poke fun of us by Lulu and men. I'd be ashamed. I'd hit my son on the head if he ever tried that. Any of them. But that's respect. Yeah, I'm back to. Oh. I think, I think uh, the Sioux started that, the, where the men were Luluing. Is there something? There. There's a video out there I seen. It's a couple of kids, so it was like five of them. Is that like part of the whole uh, switch dance movement that some intertribal powwows do? Yes. When they do switch dance. Yes. Yeah. Shaking your butt at everybody. That's not cute. It's insulting. <laughs> that was. No, like you say, you didn't grow up with respect. Your whole life was respect. And that's why you have all this kinship. You respect. It teaches you respect. Where you don't call people by their name. You call them by their, if they're cone. You say cone, tsai, ka. All those things. That's respect. You learn it there in your home. Well, see, we, left, we lost all that years ago, but if there was some way we tried to keep it up, we had to scatter, then we're not able to <clears throat> to do that, except maybe in a few individual homes and families, so it's gone. All that respect that Bel uh, Dorothy's talking about, and I know Velma grew up with elders, all that is gone. I just tell you now, you just can read about it, you just can hear talk about it, and that's it. Unless you strive in your family to teach your family that. So <clears throat> we treat our own oh. we, teach, we teach our own respect. And then you see be, being so flagrant about it too. Oh, it's cute. You should have seen them. I told one of my relatives, I said, you're just uh, by straight dancing. That's a gentleman's dance. You don't go out there and, and poke fun. 
It's not cute. And hegaba togu, togu means the younger folks will be absolved of all of that. They can do like they want to when our generation is gone. They still do, whether we're here or not. <laughs> but that hurts every time there's something, and then they'll laugh. What's the... Oh. Did you make you want to hold goo? It means you'll be absolved from all shameful things after this generation is gone. And that's my that's my grip. I don't Aww. know how y'all Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it because it's pushed on us, you know, and seen it not just recently. I mean, all that's been like happening for years now. And if you do talk about it or talk against it, then, you know, you're the only one, you know. We come Aww. from a gen generation, Dolores, where people wouldn't want you around if you were a Tsongu even. Now, that, uh, that part is bad, but still, they were so uh, judgmental, some of them. It's what we call it with the free way life is now. Yeah. A lot of this stuff I don't understand. And I don't go to these powwows anyway that much. <clears throat> and I don't go anywhere now because I'm I'm not independent like I was. But anyway, I have this command you something that I don't I don't really know what it is. But it's I've got the command you newspaper and it has their fair. And Friday, it says, um, this is their powwow part on the last the last page. The events of their powwow. Anyway, it says, Friday special, September 29th. First round, cat and boot special. And uh, in honor of Jim Myers, sponsored by Jane Myers, family and friends. And then it goes on. Blackfeet style chicken dance special and all this. And then Sunday, it's the final round hat and boot special honor. So what is that hat and boot? That's a new one. And Jane Myers, yeah, that she's about our about my age. Um, and then my yeah. dad. Never. What is it? Do you know? It's it girls. These girls, and I guess men, boys too. They they wear like uh, boots and like they de they dress like western, like a cowboy hat yeah. and jeans or whatever. Oh, wow. And then they dance, but they're they're wearing instead of uh, our regalia, they wear uh, cowboy. I guess cowboy clothes. Eh? <laughs> That came from up north. They do that, and then now we're doing it. We're copying like they used to copy us. <laughs> yeah. So it says Comanche Fair, and then they're doing this. So. That's anyway. As recent as 1949, a Christian Methodist pastor refused to bury my, to preach at my dad's funeral because he followed his traditional ways he was a dancing man he was a they had the dances at our house they called it white horses place but it was there at the corner and i never seen anything sinful going on there but the, this methodist minister is full blood kiowa big family he refused to bury my dad. And I had said I was going to tell that too in my writings before I'm gone. And you, and things like that stay with you the rest of your life. Oh. That was that was our life. 
dancing people. He praised God just like everybody else. Oh. And that's why we're Roman Catholics. All of most of the Ohoma from this area. It's a beautiful angel woman that put everything to rights, and that was Emma Ware Ari. They were too self righteous because they prayed. And I guess I don't know what they thought we were doing. Everything ceremonial now, or should we? And you well, guys. Well, as I said, there are more people go to these union things than they go than go to church. I know that. So. Even in this day and age, people are saying nuns kill the babies. How can they say that? I did not get mistreated at Riverside. I might be just a small, I, I'm the small, if I seen something, I would have told. Why are they doing this? I have no doubt that it happened toward, uh, I don't know what happened in the north. Canada and stuff, but it didn't happen at Riverside or St. Patrick's. I was there. It's getting worse and worse. And there's nobody that stand up to tell the truth. People don't want to talk to me because I do tell them like it really was. I loved it. So you younger ones, it's up to y'all. You know, you, uh, we know how y'all all grew up. And it was grace with graciousness. We knew your folks. They come from good people. And it's up to y'all after the next few years. Talk like that, and I'm acting like I'm a philosopher or something. I'm just a poor Kiowa woman. That's why I said con. But I'm hoping somewhere. And for heaven's sake, the Jacobson house, that were five, six Kiowa, Kiowas that were the reason that that house was put there. There's nobody on the board that's even part Kiowa. And the emphasis is always the other way. The, the heavens, <clears throat> a lot of them, they do that like though they have, have those men dress like women and dance and do all that. <clears throat> they, I know they're doing it, you know, for fun and joking, but they don't realize that there's elders that, you know, feel the way we do. You know, like you said, it's it's disrespectful, like they're making fun of us. But to them, they just, I don't know, they, they seem to think it's funny. They all laugh and just, you know, but I don't know. Y'all are right. It's just, it's just something that's been festering since I've had reading about different eras of how we live. What a wonderful ways we had. We're the ones that... I sat at an event and every every song just about was Kiowa. But we have different ways. We have a song for everything. Hundi Bamata. We're well known for our ways. Y'all keep it up. Oh. Beko. I'm finished, Melody. <laughs> uh -huh, Grandma. Uh, let's see here. Hello, Nelson. Hey, down there. Down there, Bum, I came up. 
Oh, I'm Al. Hi, Nelson. Down, down there, Bobo. Oh, I'm Al. And on time. Oh. How about you, Mda? Hey, how the key? Hi, Mda. Oh. You couldn't laugh. You, you and Dolores and all of you. How y'all the him they go? I keep falling. One time, Belma said, how come you quit and keep falling? I don't know. I was just losing my balance. Can't they? When I get down, I can't crawl. I have to crawl if there's nobody home. I got to get me an alarm system. Anya, Anya, how do you say dizzy, Dolores? Oh, Korea. Oh, Korea. What is good, yeah. Korea? <laughs> and got to have a, even a walker in your own house, darn. Oh, they are not told, yeah. <laughs> Dorothy, what is good, though, yeah? Hana, uh, Hana, oh, Kona, oh, yeah, told, yeah. That means when you're, when you're, uh, how would you say oh yeah? You're staggering around. <laughs> that's that's me now. And <laughs> oh yeah, to you. Those are those are jawbreakers. Yeah, I've seen Wonder White Fox and Hazel Salo's picture today. Gamohagya, son. June Artichoker. Dorothy Rhodes. Barbara Poe. Vinette Mopo. All of the princess from a long time ago. Velma Ruth. I hope I don't see you for a while on the picture. Because. That means these were in the past, you know. Velma's a former princess with uh, Martha now. <laughs> Anybody else? Alice. Who else? Oh, let's see. I see Grandma Martha joined us. And then uh, I saw Marion, but I think she's having connection issues. And then Ramon, Judy, and then Nelson. I also got a message from uh, Cricket. She can't make it. She's traveling. And then Courtney, she can't make it because she's traveling also. I'm like, huh, I wonder where they're traveling to. <laughs> well, I was going to say, where are they going? <laughs> <laughs> Anya Haiga, they didn't say, but they said they'll watch the recording. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we could do our opening prayer. Um, we haven't officially started yet, so um, let's see. Grandma D, it outside. Oh. <clears throat> ตาพันมันตาโดเดลอนเดอัมเปโดไอรอกอเตกอร์กูเดอโดเดอันออทามาซอตเตกิอากาโดเดเทนโดกอตงิเกมอฮันโดเดอาออนโดเดอินเดเ
ਤੇ ਥਾਏ ਦੋ ਦੇ ਦਾ ਕੀ ਐਲ ਹੈਂਡ ਇਸ ਤਾ ਦਾ ਕੀ ਨਾ ਤਾ ਗੋ ਕਾਟੋ ਗੇ ਯਾ ਤਾ ਤਾ ਗੇ ਯਾ ਤਾ ਜਾਨੀ ਤਾ ਦੇ ਐ ਆਨ ਦਾ ਕੇ ਥਾਮ ਦਾ ਕੀ ਹੰਦੇ ਕੋ ਕੇ ਕੰਬੋ ਕੇ ਚਾਂ ਕੇ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਐਨ ਹਾਈ ਕੇ ਦਾ ਐ ਦਾ ਹਮ ਪੈਗ ਕੀ ਥੋ ਦਾ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਆਈ ਕੋ ਪੈਗ let's see here um so i think we could probably update uh those of those of us who weren't here last week um so basically what we talked about last week was thinking about a good way to use our time moving forward and then um we also wanted to continue brainstorming some ideas um for a uh december outreach a community outreach uh, on zoom and i think we have some uh oh there's tim um i think we have some like a theme kind of and so we want to kind of brainstorm some uh ideas for that um so basically what we decided was we would push our session time back half an hour so we're starting at 7 p.m central and going to 8 30 central i know it might be late on the east coast um so sorry about that <laughs> um but uh that's kind of we were talking about what times work for people so we're going to try that and see see if it works uh we wanted to have 90 minutes um uh together and we want to focus on practicing talking with each other and um in a couple sessions um hopefully prepare for having an immersion session where we just all talk in Kiowa to each other and then um I think uh, Dane said last last week, or I don't remember, um, but the, the credentialing board is looking at their next in-person credentialing session um, for, you know, late a couple months from now. So like December, January, something like that. Um, I don't see Dane on here right now, but I don't know. Uh, are there any updates from the credentialing board? Anyone? Not since our uh, the last credentialing, we haven't met. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, we'll just uh, keep keep practicing. I guess that's kind of what we wanted to spend our time in our sessions is just uh, practicing talking with each other. Um, mm -hmm. So we thought we would take a look at those uh, lessons that we used in the spring to help build our conversational skills. So that's why when I sent out the email this morning, I attached uh, lesson one. And so you'll you'll see it, it looks familiar. It's what we used uh, last spring and maybe we could take a look at that and use some of those conversations to practice. Um, so that was an idea, but um, what, what does everyone think about that? Okay, um, let's see. So do any of our learners have any questions for our mentors? I'll open it up. See, I'm trying uh, Hyundai on the uh, uh, Spot oh. Hang on. Hey, it's on. On Yeah, good try. 
Is it for just one person, one of particular uh, mentor, or for all of them? Hato and Dongya. Uh, where's it? Uh, comes to the dance. Come to the dance? Comes to the dance. Oh. Comes to the dance. Am I go be am pump? You have to kind of be a little bit descriptive the way I say. Come on and stand right here. You're just like. Well, let's uh, like um, when you come to the when you come and help out uh, to dance um, I guess that would be the way the when they always see you at the dance. My name is Goon, My name is Goon, I am, uh, what is it? Goon, son, ma. If it's one person. Oh, Goon, son, ma. Comes to the dance. Say it again, ma. And Goon San Ma. In my case, it'll be in Goon San San Ma. I just go watch. No, and the Goon Ma. And then it'll be on the on a Goon Ban Ma. Go on the Goon Ma. Yeah. Exactly. Goon Ga Ya Oon De. Goon day. Yes. Goon day. Uh, ma. Uh, hi. I thought you said, come to the desk. Mm. I didn't know you said, come to the dance. I have comes. to put my hearing aids on. No, I did say comes, C-O-M-E-S. So one that, you know, uh, I'm trying to figure out what uh, Harvey Ware was trying to say. You know, he, was, he named me as a, a young child when I was always coming to a different state to come support him, you know. He was married but, to a woman named Priscilla, huh? Oh, yeah. God, the little world. So I was always going over there and I was just trying to figure out, I forgot what, uh, that's when they were, remember when James Silverhorn went to uh, Kansas yeah. to name the river yeah. over there. My sister went with him. Yeah. And it was called Say, I think it was called Say Say Paul, the statue. But now they changed it. They they renamed it. Uh, but Keepers of the Plains, I think that's what they named it now. But he named it uh, Forked River or something like that. And at that time, that's when uh, I called Cone, you know, Harvey Ware and Priscilla, Grandma, you know, they they gave me that name, Comes to the Dance, and I can't remember what it was, how it was. Goon, son. Goon, what? Goon, Goon son, ma. Goon, son. She came to the dance. Son. 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 Yes. T S A H N. T S A N. T S A N. What's that? The time Candace Green done the book? Huh. Oh. Gosh, it's a long time ago now. 
I was wondering why they always they separated the name Hungu into two words, silver horn, and when you Google it, you have to use two two words instead of one. Do you ever understand that, Aunt Bama? No, I thought it was just one. I know, and on the book it has two words. Oh, I don't know. Who did the book? Donnie and uh, Candace. Candace Green. Yeah. You mean Donnie, Donnie Topai? Yeah. Uh oh. oh I, I don't know about him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I have asked him, and he said that was the right way, so I don't question it, you know. No, no, he don't was... know. He's not even that old to know. He's, he's I know. Great. He's just the great grandson, not the grandson. Oh, uh, but that's, I mean, because now it's out in print like that, and it'll forever be that way, you know. I know. We were six bands. And we all had different ways. People can't seem to grasp that. Uh, get oh, get different. Even our 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 uh, language had different. Marion, isn't that right? And we spoke with a different accent. I hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's the what's the book? The uh, one hundred summers. Uh, no, that was called Silverhorn. Uh, what was it? Transparency or uh, oh, uh, the heck? I got it too. Candy gave me one. I know she. I have a book that she wrote. It was uh, one hundred winters. And yeah, was, and I, I was, I was trying to get her to ask, tell me why she's using summers instead of winter. You know, when Ty was said, you know, Canada years using winter, and she had her argument on what was. So I just okay, but Ty was used winters. Can you see how they separated the word silver horn? Yeah. So that's uh, no, well, I don't, this... I, I don't know this this book. I know but, one that she did was one one hundred winters. Summers. Right. Yeah. She sent me summers, that one. Summers, summers, and I want. I was saying, why didn't you use winters? So this one, I don't know about. Well, she I don't. Know. I've asked I her about one. I told stories. They were both, they were both about, I mean, the one I'm talking about, it's about Silverhorn. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a Candace Green, yeah. She, uh, she just, I don't know the information that she's gotten because I called her, uh, you know, I called her all the way in DC about the Silverhorn thing. You know, I, I because I asked her and said, you know, who gave you the right to, you know, separate his work, you know, his name like that. And that's when she came out and said, you know, Donnie, but, you know, so it's our own people that are giving out this information, you know, and not getting it right or uh, messing it up, you know, just, I'm just worried about our future generation looking up things like that and not, they would miss it. <clears throat> if they weren't spelt, you know, if it wasn't spelt right, you know, they wouldn't know to separate the word or, you know what I'm saying? It was just something I, I noticed. And same with you, Grandma D, about the um, calendar, uh, I mean, the hundred summers, uh, like you said, why why summers and not winters? How did but, Bessie do it? Hmm. Huh? So How did the granddaughters do it? White horse, I capitalized both. Big bow, I capitalized both. Never thought of that. But see how Bessie done her name before she was Ahedi. 
some of his grandkids, his daughters, granddaughters, I mean. Oh, yeah. Different. I always saw it together. I never saw it separated like that, ever. Me either. If you had well, kept, if you had a word like that that was translated, you went to the you went through heck to come through school, because uh, you got teased about it all the time. White horse, silver horn, red bird, all kind. You think that's bad? What about Dumbo? Dang, we uh, we I don't know how many times we've gotten fights over that because Dumbo, yeah. Dumbo, the Dumbo. elephant. <laughs> they never knew it was stone bought, and you have a lot of scholars. I know, like, I know, I know. But I don't know. Like they would have. Whoever like came, they would have translated. They've well, whoever, known it. Whoever They've translated it, I don't know. It had to be. Uh, it had to be um, a, a yeah. non Kiowa. It had to be a non Kiowa to, to come up. I with always that. knew it was Stonebuck, and so did uh, James, and so did Marion. But yeah. everybody else did it. None of the other people, they just called us, you know, just Dumbo. So, but. What a pretty name, Flute, Stonebuck. Of course, I like the names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Hangu means what shiny object or something, something uh, bright object or something like that. Metal. Didn't mean silver horn. But they had to put some kind of uh, English. They put it in an English way where they can understand it. Well, ha huh, is silver or metal or iron. Mm -hmm. Huh, yeah. and then do is horn. Monday. That's why I think. Uh, how do you say it? Dumbo. Uh, bot. How do you say it? Yeah. Oh, uh, don't bot. Huh. Well, um, what's that? What's that mean? Flute. Like it's Dorothy would say it. It means flute. Okay. How, how would you spell that? Uh -huh. Just like the name Big Bo, Jake Goyek. But I love the one on the toy. You know, the wonder that's pretty. Some of us come with the different descriptive names. They're really descriptive. If you sit by it for hours and keep looking, soon, pretty soon it'll jump out at you. To translate names. That's my favorite pastime. Oh. There's something I haven't found the, the name Gutotai. Bird on top. And I wonder if they mean an eagle. And it's it's interesting to go through those names and try to translate them and wonder what what it was meant to be. Try it sometime. It's a lot of fun. Oh, that's so interesting. All right, any other questions? And somehow I feel like I might be the first one to do so. That's so in Dongya, salt. Right. 
Is that auto time? Oh, no <laughs> 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 that's all. I also I always have a hard time saying it too. I'm trying to tell my my how to tell my bunch how to say it. <laughs> right, oh. I'm over here. Did I say that right? Yeah. Oh, and to bitter white. <laughs> All time means you got a, a sharp, hot taste in your mouth. And time is white. So you would say, get all time. All time time. All time. We had to make up our own with the modern things. Like, uh, like pepper and cold drinks and everything. It's a later, it's a later language. And you can't mix it with the old because you'll mix yourself up. Dolores' dad and that, that, that group of Kiowas, they speak, spoke it so pretty. That was the era that we grew up with. And when you're kind of speaking Kiowa and it's, it isn't like your part of the country, they'd say, An hoba no zanma. Hoba. It's just a little bit slight sound off of the way that you talk. It's not yet, it does not say you're talking it wrong. It just says the sound isn't there. And hall but no sound. There's a few of the students. In fact, all of you, I can tell when you get the sound that you can, it's there. And to me, the most confusing part, I'd swell talk, nobody does, but you'd say, un, like when you say, am I, ba -a, ma -a, that one little word changes the whole deal if you're talking Kiowa. And when somebody catches that, mm -hmm. it's like a little light bulb. Beso, meso. Be saga, be tobe. Sit down and be still. And cut them, can go ahead and talk. Those little side words, like I was saying, I get dizzy, honey, all cold, yeah. And then I, big mouth, all obey, gun. It's a round dance. You're dancing in a circle, and that's all obey. Be yolda gun. Victory dance. Be all the gun. Scalp dance. Then you say, be good all good. Do the 49 step. And that's what we all do now when we round dance. Mm -hmm. And then it's a it's a faster, smoother step. You kept up with the men. There were fancy steps instead of all rushing to the middle with holding hands. I seen that. I hadn't been to a dance like that in a long time. What's the purpose of that? What rushing to the middle? Yeah. Mm. Oh no. They, they're I, just they're yeah. trying to be trying to. Uh, they're just trying to be fancy or just kind of add to it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you wonder because. And with Kaiwas, it was uh, uh, 
a step. You could make a step out of, you know. And then I found something on Facebook. I'm just really thrilled with it. It's a different dance I've never seen the Navajos do. What is that? It's a fast dance. I found it the other night and I have almost, y'all might look on my page if you do, it might be in there. I tried to stop it because it's interesting. That's the prettiest Navajo song I've ever heard. And it's a couple and she's got uh, just regular, they're dancing across the way and the song has the most haunting tune to it, but mm. they're dancing fast. And then when they come dancing backward and the song ends, it ends like with a quick, a quick, like a jumping step. It's not a night, it's not a, it's not any of their usual ones. This was, it's even got it. I never heard a song like that before. And there were only two couples doing this at an open dance ground with a brush arbor. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I loved it. And I sat here and looked at it. Did you see it? Yeah, I'm showing it now. On yes, screen. this one. Listen to that song. Yeah. I told Melody about it. We were, Melody and I were looking at it. Look at that. I'm enchanted by the song. I can't well, hear it. You can't hear it. <laughs> I want to copy that for the younger younger girls. We're going to do that. They copy from us, so they shouldn't get mad. Velma. I've seen that before. Did you, do, did you ever see them on the res do that? Velma, did yeah, you ever I've, seen it? I've seen it, but I can't remember uh, what it's called. But I, yeah, I've seen it. And yep, along yeah, when I heard the, I heard the, the tempo and the sound. I could probably sing the song with them now, but that it is really pretty. I wish we could hear it, Melody. Could you say you? it was on Facebook? Was did you say it's on Facebook? It's yeah, it's on Grandma Dorothy's uh, Facebook page, too. Oh, let me see if I could try to uh, share my screen or something. Let me, if let you've me got see a, something here. If you're attuned to it, you'll catch that sound. It's a, It made me lonesome. For, I don't know. It's so pretty. And they're just keeping right in time with it. All right. Um, give me a minute. I'm going to try to find it. I can get it on mine. My son found it some way for me. And it's Yes. Yes, I'm listening to talk. To, yes. <laughs> talk about names and everything. You know, she talks about that man the whole day, and she thinks the guy was to learn the yo. <laughs> I think that's a cow. Oh, no. I, I don't think that's kind of strange things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know that I could see it. I saw your name there, and then I didn't see it. So I no, no, I'm still in there listening to the. No, I'm still didn't even start anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. let's see what this. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to get it on my computer, but uh, Facebook is giving me trouble. 
It won't oh. load. I wonder why we never seen that as much as you guys, you know, Velma, you've been there for many years. And that was the first time I ever seen it, period. I've gone to not that much, but it's pretty. Well, my computer doesn't want to cooperate, so it's not going to work for me. My network is, my signal is too busy, it, maybe. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know. Is anyone able to share their screen on Facebook and be able to play it? You have to share screen and share sound. If anyone is at a computer. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not able to. I could try it from my phone. Let me try it from my phone. Let's see. So I think I've shared um, sound before on my phone. So let me find. I love the neckline of your dress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... Looking for Grandma Dorothy. And find your page. Okay, there it is. All right, so. Okay, let me try this. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to unmute this. Well, I tried. I don't know why it's... Huh. Is there a volume thing? It says audio is on. Oh, there we go. That's that's a bear dance. I think that's the bear dance songs. Wow. Yeah, it really shows a good. Hear that sound and that background sound? Yeah. I think that might, I don't, I don't I think that's. I that learned one. the song already. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. I don't think that's Navajo. Oh, I because I never I know it sounds like that when they have their bear dance, they, they have that yeah. grinding sound and then with their song. So I don't know. It might I don't know. <laughs> did it say Navajo when you on the Facebook or what did it say? Yeah, I just found it from uh, oh. you know different exhibition dances and that was oh. I, it kind of sounds like part of some of those bear dance songs those youths yeah. remember those I've been youths? to the bear dance we got chased off oh, <laughs> <laughs> head on shorts it was a long time ago it was with uh, Emily Saw Pity did you say a uh, bear dance for, but like from the Utes, yeah, kind of, kind of sounds like it. I don't know. I, I'm no, I don't, I'm no expert. I don't know. This but one, this one has that Navajo, you know, the, sort of that song, uh, that that sound. That's so interesting. It's really pretty, and they're really yeah. good at it. <laughs> so the girl that put it out, Beverly Yazi, she is, uh, she works at the Ute Mountain, Ute Mountain Tribal Park. 
that's like oh. you're saying probably you maybe they it is you mountain aren't in the bear dance. i don't There's know a bunch of people drama. in it dancing in it is it a piece of wood that they uh, um, take another some, stick? Yeah, over? some kind of, some kind of. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how it, how it but it's, it's it like a, that that like sound. a washboard, you know? Yeah, like a, yeah, something or, like that. That sound. Yeah, it's a uh, done in wood. The Utes are Itago. Itago. Mm -hmm. Itago. Itago. Okay. It's wonderful. Uh, one of the kids name for one of my relatives Itagoyale. he chased the Utes oh cool that's a nice name uh. those songs well, are just I listen to them all the time just for the songs, the woman that, that sings a lot out there. Those are pretty. Yeah, and those are pretty. With her old grandmother. Like with the grandma's about my age. Oh, oh day, they all of a sudden. Oh, day, they. Oh. Grandma used to say, you say all in a sudden. <laughs> Good day, day. Well, let's see here. Um, any other questions from anyone? I can share my screen and we could look at uh, that lesson and see if we can do some of those conversations. Oh. Okay, I'll just share it from my phone because my computer probably needs to restart itself. So let's see. <laughs> Um, see, I got to find the file. Okay. All right, let me share my screen again. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Awesome. Okay, so this is the lesson that I sent out, and it's um, on greetings. So let me see if I can make it bigger. Um, so we have the greetings on arriving and arriving again. Meeting someone, meeting again, and then seeing someone, seeing them again, and then the saying that you haven't seen them in a long time. So everyone should remember that. Let me go down here. If you want to know all the grammar, it's on the second page. The third page is your translations to English and the literal of the free translation. Okay, so here's the conversations. Uh, so let's see. I'll make it real big. Okay. <laughs> How about uh, starting with this first one right here? Um, let's see. I'm just going to pick on someone. I'll start. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I guess, uh, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Kathy, um, okay, I'm here we go. <laughs> I'll, I'll go first and you respond, okay? Oh. Is that okay? And then we can switch. Okay. Kathy. Oi, Tonga, honey, Balma. 
Oh, not uh, not subtle. Oh, the Hyundai Hyundai M Oi son. Uh, uh, Hyundai Hyundai. Uh. One day, on day, day, aim, uh, wait a minute. I say it every week. So you're doing uh, that second, uh, the response? One day, on day, aim, oi, son. Oh, one day, on day, aim, oi, son. Uh, oh, I'm saddled. Oh. Um, let's see. Hande on day, aim oi, bong. Uh, not saddle. A on tongue. A on tongue. A on tongue. Because the ah, it's like it's me or ah, a on tongue. A on tongue. Oh, day on day. Do you want to switch or do you want to pick someone else? Uh, no, good switch. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, oi, don't uh, oi, oi, don't go, oh, in Boma. That's a long way. Get a little bit more smoother. Can... <laughs> you uh, want to hear someone say uh, it? Uh, uh, one of our mentors, uh, uh, Grandma Martha Nell. Yeah. Ooh, Tonga, honey, bone mom. Ooh, Tonga. Tonga. Is it Tonga or Tonga? Tonga. 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 Oh. On aim, bone ma. Oh, oh, not a, uh, not a uh. uh. On day, on day, oh. aim, oi, aim, oi, son. Sorry, I think I said it wrong. Uh, so let's see. Ha, oh, I'm saddle. Is that right? Not saddle. Did I get it right? <laughs> oh. How okay. Huh. Let's see. Let me let me zoom. Oh. Let me go back. Uh, go back up here. So the responses are right here. So you also, ha, I'm idle or ha, I'm idle. Yes. And then ha, not idle, and then ha, not idle. I always get those two confused, the me also and you also. Yeah, but it means the same. It is said both ways. Oh, is it okay to say it both ways? Yeah, I, I would say yes, but it's according to what they say. Oh, On now your, I agree. On your first page, it has uh, not, not saddle. And On I your say, first page. <laughs> No, I'll. You could say it both ways. I've heard it both ways. The last like one. Like a, a gun, a bot, and a log, and a lob. Oh. Yeah, you can say it both ways, right? So, ha, huh, not idle, or ha, huh, not idle. Ha. Huh. Okay, let's go back. All right. Uh -huh. I just wanted to check. Okay. Sorry, Kathy. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Oh, no, you're right. Wonderful. You can't. Wonderful. You can't eat them again. So, Honde Honde Aim Oi Tan. Oh. I'm idle. <laughs> uh. Think about it for a minute. <laughs> uh. Honde on the M Oi Cod all day. Wait, you're on uh wonderful. Third set. Yeah. 
You're saying a uh, you Hyundai. Say, I can't saw. You're seeing Hyundai. someone. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hyundai on the aim oy all day. Isn't all day? Oh. Isn't that to meet someone? Yeah. Oh, am I in the wrong one? Oh, dang it. Hang on. Hyundai on the aim oy bong. Oh. Oh. Uh. No, uh, is it no, I own tongue. Okay, so uh, Kathy pick someone else. Uh, Gigi, Judy. Oh. Um. Uh, on the, on the Wait, which one are you on? <laughs> a. A. Oh, you're on a. Okay. Dang. A. But <laughs> right there. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. You moved to two, so. <laughs> <laughs> on the Amoy song. Uh oh. Oh, I'm saddle. I'm saddle. I'm saddle. Honey on the M Cloth date. Not saddle. I own top. Oh. Oh, on the on the M phone. Not saddle. I own top. So now Judy picked somebody. Who's here? <laughs> uh, let's see. I think Tim, Ramon, Tim. Nelson. Okay, Tim. Get oh. busy, Tim. Oh. Are you greeting me first or am I greeting you? Judy? Um, you're greeting. Oh, on the on the aim, son. Oh, no, sir. On the on the on the on the aim, oi, son. Ah, I'm sorry. On the on the end, bomb. Oh, what's the number two? <laughs> Wait, did you? It's, it's, hey, it's Tim, did you the in the second set right there? Uh, mm -hmm. it's saying wonderful ITU met, and I think you said okay. come again. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, thaw. Oh. <laughs> Ah. Okay, wonderful. I to you, Matt. Okay, okay. On the own day, and oh, day. Oh, okay. On the own day, and oh, 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 okay. Hey, okay. On the own day, and oh, day. I see. Got it. Ah, no, it's a ah, uh oh, it's a ah, no. No title on top, I own top. Oh. On the on the aim bone. Ah, no title. Oh, no, 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 you want to be speaker A, and then I'll practice my speaker B part. Oh. On the on the son. Oh, no, I don't. On the on the all day. Not out of a all oi. Thing. Oh my goodness! Hang, hey, hey, uh, uh, old tongue. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the on the 
Hang on, wait. Not Sarai, on time. Almost a uh, on time. A uh, on time. Mm -hmm. Not oh. Sarah, a uh, on time. Oh, on the on the aim, bon. Oh, no, Adam. Oh, hey, uh, Ramon, do you uh, want to stick with this option two or you want to go back up to option one? Just let me know. Bye, go. Bye, go. Okay. okay. Oh, cool. Then, um, Nelson, Nantown, uh, give me speaker A on this one. On day on day, or hey, maybe I'm going to see. On day on day, or it's on. All right, number two, man. Wait, wait, we're, wait, which one are you doing? Uh, speaker A, correct? Okay. On day on day, or it's on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Conversation. Is it conversation? Uh, we're on conversation one. It's this one that's saying Uli Tonga Honey Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. <clears throat> um Tonga Hon Name Bomba. Oh, no, it's Adel. Um Damn Damn Oi Tong. Oh, I'm, I'm Adel. Oh, on day on day, I'm boy, I'm boy, boy. No, it's Adel. Me not on him. <laughs> oh. I'll tell her, I own time. I own time. <laughs> oh, I own time. I just wanted to try that since I had uh, read some somewhere that someone said, me not on him. I almost died of happiness. I died of happiness. Hey, go me Oh, Nelson, yes. your your turn. Uh, let's see who else. Who didn't get a chance to go yet? Aunt Carolyn, are you there? Oh. Okay, um, which which one y'all want me to do? Whichever one. You have option one or option two. Uh, we'll stay with option one. Oh. Okay, um, uh, Carolyn, you want to go first or you want me to go? Uh, did you do speaker A yet? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll try speaker A first. Oh. Ui Tonga Hanan Boma. Oh, no, oh. Oh. Hande Hande on day and oi on. Oh, no, oh. Oh. Hande on day and oi day. And I are they? Sorry. Um. Oh, not on top. Oh. Not on top. I think on the last one, it's uh the verb is to see, like saw someone. I think you said uh to meet someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, on speaker A. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wonderful you came. Wonderful you came or wonderful I too. So. Oh. Oh. Monday, 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 I'm all gone. No, no, I won't talk. Oh, is there anyone 
else on the line? Do we miss anyone? Hey, if not, uh, Melody, I have a quick question. One day. You know, we've learned how to um, offer water. Um, oh. How do we, how would we ask for water? Oh, good question. Uh, like if I walk up uh, into your camp and I ask for some water. What was the question? Uh, go ahead, Nelson. Uh, I was just uh, asking her, you know, we learned how to um, offer some water, but I was just wanting to know how to ask for water. Say, go to me, oh, pour me some water. Go to me, oh, go, go to me, oh, go to me, oh. Oh, 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 pour me some water. Oh, 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 like oh, Opie, yeah, like Opie, but it's Op. <laughs> Say, me not told him I'm oh. about to die for water. <laughs> just say, just say, um, God told him to. God told him Op. It's how it's it. D, how would you say it? Well, either three of those is correct. They're all correct. Me not told him I'm about to die for water. Oh, Bali. <laughs> what is that? Oh, Bali. Is that the same as I'm very thirsty? Mm -hmm. Weak from weak from thirst. Yeah. I said, honey, get caught on that. Hey, God. Hey, God, talk good, though. I got to put on my hearing aids. Oh, that's good. You <laughs> sound like Kairos. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> You do. I had my eyes closed for listening. Go ahead, you buy those on. Oh. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, let's see. I know uh, those who couldn't make it today, they really want to practice. So hopefully they'll be able to join next week. Or they can at least watch the recording. Who had they? Uh, Courtney and Cricket. Yeah. I haven't seen Cricket in a while. Yeah. I think uh, this coming Monday, isn't this coming Monday the uh, Norman class? Oh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I saw the reminder on Facebook. Uh, let's see. What's on a donkey? Monday. Yeah, I'm talking. Um, our mentors. Monday. Um, Yik Yik No Don Soleda My brother brother is in the army. Yik mm -hmm. Yik four. four of my brothers are in the army. Ah. Oh. 
Ye cannot dog a soli, a soli dog. Ye cannot dog. A soli dog or a soli tolia. Soli dog. Wonderful. Close. Close, huh? Hmm. Close. <laughs> Got that immediately. Understood it. Oh, wonderful. How about, um, how's going, Don't California, a bond, ma. Ah, goon, ah, ye. And, ding. Yeah, I'm all it's done. California upon ma da goon oh ah ye king 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 California upon ma. Mm -hmm. That was a color. Ah, goon. Oh, are ye king? Or can Can. September. Oh dear. Twenty twenty first. No, September twenty twenty twentieth. Twenty first. I think I put twentieth. No. I have to have a Martha Velma <laughs> Dorothy. What's on a tongue September? September. Uh, Hang hey, on, Paul. December. It's the Christmas September. month. September. September. The month September. we're in now. This month. September. Ain't how they, Paul. It's this month. Paul. Ain't how they, Paul. Somebody's going on a war into the service. Marion. <laughs> I'm going to Cali this month. Going to where? California. California, September 20th. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be in the dark. <laughs> Oh. Well, we just said California, kill. Go bond. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> and they, <laughs> and they saw. Yeah. California, go bond. Bond. They, and they saw. Now, I don't know how to say the 20th. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm, oh. very, I'm very illiterate, Kiowa. And Kiowa. That's <laughs> on a thong, yeah. Uh, is it Hoita? Hoita? A lot, a crowd. A lot of people, a big crowd. How do you say that? Eight day cacomba at all. Eight day cacomba. Eight day. Eight day. Eight day. Eight day If they were Kaiwa, she would say, Eight day koi cacomba at Or eight day cacomba. Oh, 
Oh. A lot of people. Nando uh and -huh. Banma. Why are you going? She said. Nando and. Uh, well, my. Um, I am going, ma. Honey. Are they, are they going to dance? Honey. Uh, surgery relative. Oh, hey guys. Thick, uh, thick, oh. thick, thick. <clears throat> yeah, cool. tape. It's all tape, isn't it? Yeah, surgery. Some tape. Surgery. Oh. Hey guys, so I subtle. It it's okay. very it's very direct when they say, "Hey guys, so I saw tape." Mm -hmm. they, took, okay. they took out his innards, and that's the way the Kaiwa is for a surgery. For everything mm -hmm. goes to like they operated on him and took out a subtle tape, mm -hmm. or they're gonna operate awesome. on him. It's not like a, but it's uh, it's subtle. Just, like S A U L, subtle, T A P E, they mm -hmm. got oh. Oh. Yeah. Marty, how would oh. you spell it on? Hey, guys, so I saw it. Pretty much the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard. It's the only way I've heard it. Yeah. And then you might add oh. that. Uh, they they call a daughter. All of you priests play for us. Oh. Date Colado, say. Somebody on, is on going on the. No, I was just going to ask Melody, uh, how did y'all say September? Because I had something written down. What did you have for it? If we had a word for September, you would say, Ye ki pauta. Oh, okay, I, I thought somebody. Okay, I thought somebody asked about how to say September. Oh, they did. Yeah, oh, she okay. did. Okay, okay, because I had something written down. I was just going to see if it was the same thing y'all said. Okay, what was it, huh? Um, get o on, pa. Get o on, pa. Say that, and then say. Um. Pow key, no. Twenty third, Marty. Ye key pow ta. Yeah, ye key pow ta. And that's September the twenty third. Hey, guys, salt tape. Hey, guys, hey, yeah. Hey, guys, salt tape, da. Got it right there. Marion, you're. I think that's as right as we can get it. Let's see. Ye oh. ki pauta. That's the 30, 23rd. And then spell the the September the way he said it. A soul tape. Duh. Day date parlay, dogs. I just threw that in. Please pray for together for us. Any corrections? Go ahead. So you what's the English term for September? Is it, are you, that's the, what's the meaning? You know, is there, it doesn't say September or does it say September? In Kiowa. Um, uh, Dorothy. On day. On day. Uh, um, what's her name? Um, oh, gosh. Uh, the one oh, hey, um uh, Alicia's Alicia's uh-huh well, she uh, she has it uh gaw oh, uh, is that is that says in here it says talk gaw key ah wait now yeah gaw key oh somewhere uh, is that right I mean is that another way to say it I mean it's I guess no she's got it in here 
it's that's how ten. she has it. Yeah, 10 cold time, it says. It's, uh, and what source did you get yours from, Nelson? Um, I know I heard it that way more. We have, uh, I think I got mine in class uh, last year, and um, it was on the oh, December the twenty eighth, I believe. But um, on that, on October, I got written down Kakint Opa, or what uh, Mate Ma said. But I got it for October, which is King Code Moons. Um. Only way I can say is uh, a melody. Write it out. The, the write it out the way we do, and then Judith, we will uh, will help you with pronouncing it. It's kind of when there's two ways, it's kind of doubtful. I would go with Nelson's pronunciation. Can you say that again? Um, Mate ma. One day. I, I got these from you when we was in class. Me? Honey, uh, Mate ma. Oh. Grandma. If you got it together, it's correct. But I didn't see that. I don't use that book very much. Uh, yeah. Mr. Noel and Doris Pulo and I helped her with it. Which book were you looking at, Nelson? It's just... oh, oh, no, I just thought I heard somebody say September earlier. And uh, I have these months written down that uh, when I was in uh, Velma's class uh, last year and we uh, wrote them down. Yeah, Velma, is that out of the uh, Alicia? Keybone Gonzalez book. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's the one. Uh, so there's a number. I mean, there's. Where's the what page is that on you're talking about? We still use that one with our Clemente. Oh, yeah. That's the one Aunt Bama was talking about that has. In Alicia's book, it's on page 148. 148. So in 148, it's at, where's the, uh, oh, month of, month of the, okay, so I see what, now what you're saying. So September is 10 cold time, 10 cold times, 10 coals time. Kalkin. 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 And then dopa, dopa, dopa. Oh, oh, it's cold. To, to. Oh, 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 oh. Yet, oh. Cocking. Say it all together. Cocking, dopa. Oh. That's what's in her book. So that. But uh, there's another way, and that's what uh, Nelson, you're saying the other way. He said that one's. I think with ours, we did the, looked in the <clears throat> in the glossary, and it has like between September and October. It has um, the way it's uh, in in uh, the way it's pronounced, or that the yeah. So I think that's that's why we. When when we did that, we um, we used the glossary, and that's probably the one like September October for that. Oh, keep oh, oh. oh. yeah, because so I, in the glossary it says mm -hmm. in the glossary for September it says uh, the last. Moon of the traditional Taiwa year is part of August and September, and it's the season when the antelopes shed their antlers. And it's um, the first moon of the Kiowa year is called Ga Kint 
oh ah, which I guess is like September October, like you said. That's the next one. So the the month that the antelope drop their horns or their antlers is August. I guess it, it's up to interpretation as far as what yeah. month, right? Because we didn't have month. Yeah. We just looked at the moon. <laughs> and I know they she didn't do, do that. Oh. And probably oh. came from Parker. So, okay. <clears throat> oh. But there's some that I had never heard. Yeah, 10 was. coals time, Alicia said. It all comes from yeah, we're learning from that book glossary. You know, regardless, it all comes from Dr. McKenzie. Okay. And that's where he's he's my sequoia. Melody. Melody. Are, are you looking in that glossary? What is September to October? It's it's what you said the gawky 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 oh and to be really specific there is no word for like Los Angeles you would have to say Bayi Yai where the sun goes down there is a big city yeah it's more descriptive. Because how did we know that, you know, stuff? Yet some people tried to add that. And that's where I think the, the confusion is. You have to almost make your own directions. Yeah. I mean, they had to. Now, this is far away, but I'll give you a quick uh, example, Judith. The, like, a horse. It's a ting. Oh. A little dog, it's a ting. Little horse. And then we called them tegun and galo and all kind of things later. And, and that's when you're trying, we're trying to emulate some of the old Kaiwa into this. I've been sitting here trying to think if there's a word that they might have made up for Los Angeles with that re relocation and everything they had. And I just can't recall anything. That's what we've had, we've had too. Uh, our, our explanation when you can just talk it straight. I could talk with you and tell you and you could tell me how somebody is getting operated and what day. Oh. You know, put, kind of put it in this. It's it's kind of hard, isn't it, Dolores? Marty? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, because we didn't have all we had the word for for a big city is the oh, yeah, a lot of houses. Oh. We didn't know, you know, like how the big cities, even Oklahoma City, or it just words that we had to make up ourselves. Oh. So there is really no right or wrong. Because we're losing the old Kiowa, and that's such a shame. Uh, Hatso and don't get, Hatso and don't get, no. Uh, Comanche Little Ponies. How would you say that? Saint Sean, guy. I see. We call them warriors. We call our Kiowa word for Comanche is Gaigu, yeah. warriors. Oh. And Gaigu. Uh, I see Gaigu, and then Little Ponies. Saint he. No, tain, gag. How would you say it, Dolores? How shall we make it? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> is that uh, a warrior society among the Comanches? The, uh, the little yes, pony? 
Yeah, they're or they're Gord clan. They're Gord organization. Oh, is that little? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's just no, well, not necessarily Gord, but it's their their club. I guess they're Clive, they're Comanche called. They're called Little Ponies. It's their 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 group or their club organization. I guess that's an old old Comanche. So. Who's Comanche? <laughs> no, I was just <laughs> I was just wondering when she was saying something about little horses. Uh I was just wondering if you know if the Kiowas ever called the Comanches, you know, little ponies they're uh by their organization or whatever that is. I don't know even know if it's a society or anything. I think it's just an organization. Organization. Oh, uh, Teo is a, in old Kiowa, it's a little horse. Oh, Gagu, saying he. Gagu. Gagu. It's a little bitty seven horses in a song. That's where I got that. Uh, when this man's hunting for his horses, he says, Oh, Teo. There's seven of them. There's seven little horses with spots on them. And a tateo is the old word for a little horse. And then we just call the dogs a tangy, a little, uh, a little dog. Because the dogs carried our, they had travel on Sunday call. Dog, dog. And then a little bitty puppy was a Thalo. Thalo? Thalo. D A L O. Thalo. Thalo. Okay. That's when the grandmas used to play that game with you, you know, when you pinch each other's uh, back of the hands. Skin on your hands, and you just keep on singing that song. Mm -hmm. And then grandma will tickle you. <laughs> Or sunk the low, 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 low. It's it just a little gray puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sick a low, low. <laughs> and Thank then you, you jump on your little great grandson and take him. <coughs> I got one. Okay. <laughs> But Judith, I'll help you on that, huh? Oh. Oh. Because so October, awesome. September the 23rd. Can anybody else have an explanation for that? Maybe someone else can translate it. Yeah, it's in the glossary. I think it just depends on which way you're going to go, if you want what word you're going to use. Maybe oh. it depends on what part of September, if it's the front part of September or the like your last part of September. Or the middle. <laughs> or the middle. <laughs> yeah. if, I'm in, if I'm in doubt, I call oh. Melody and we work oh. on it until we come to a conclusion and then she'll call you. And I. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. You would think it would be like some type of moon, you know, like or moon or something. Well, like it is. It is. It's just that the moons. See, we're using the Gregorian calendar, right? For you know, that's how um, U.S. the calendar is. It's Gregorian, and so it's not uh, indigenous. It's not a you know traditional calendar like we would use back in the old times. In the old times, we used um, the moons. So we would look at the moons and watch the cycle of the moons. And so like from one full moon to the next full moon or from one new moon to the next new moon, you know. And so anyway, that's uh, that's why it looks like that because you it, it doesn't fit. It's a totally different paradigm. It's a different way to see the world. So it doesn't fit in like the Western society's Gregorian, Roman, whatever calendar that they made up that has 12 months and 30 days or all that. Yeah. Have all that. Oh. 
and, and you and got you know, get in the shower. That's why you got yeah. your. Aunt Velma, your Aunt Velma, your your your, uh, your volumes up, Aunt Velma. You've got Martha here, and you've got Dolores, you've got Marion, you've got Brenda, you've got the uh, Velma Ruth, and all of them. And we could we could do that and uh, get a sentence, but then we don't. You know, it'll take a little while. Huh. Not impossible. There is a way to say it. And at Melody. Oh, that's what we're trying to work towards so that we can say it like that oh. naturally. So oh. I say, uh, bay, bay, day, Judy. <laughs> oh. We'll do. <laughs> like we, we call a hospital, a hotel, a sick house. You know, some way, hotel, yeah. Oh, nega salte, salte, da, kahinga, or whatever day. Oh, 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 yeah. Most of, most of our men folk that spoke Kiowa are gone, and you've got some of the best people. I have to say that that have done this with the help of Dane. And oh. we'll work something out for you, Judy. Oh. Oh. It's fun. It's a beautiful. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, well, let's see. I think we're over time. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's probably getting late for some of you. Um, let's see here. Any other last minute questions before we close up? Oh, I got one. One day. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> How would we say that? We don't. <laughs> we do not. I'm not going to I'm gonna leave it at that. We'll be here all night trying to manufacture something. But we do not oh, say good night or good morning or all the Elkhoi greetings and stuff. We don't, we don't have all of them. Like goodbye, we don't say goodbye either. We just hang up. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you later. Hang up. <laughs> I always wondered about that because when I was on the phone with dad or any other Kiowa, they would just hang up, wouldn't even say goodbye. I'm like, uh, I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I have <laughs> always done that. My kids hate it because I do that. I said, bye. I Mom, say bye. <laughs> and Matthew, my brother Matthew, he'd say, Dorothy, <laughs> they're having something over at so and so's house in two nights. I say, oh, how are you? And then click. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Never wanted to visit. He'd just tell you what he wanted and say, hang up. No way. And, that's, and when you say, Call me, you say. Hold got no good. Click the iron, hit the iron. That means call me. <laughs> Wouldn't you say bay day, ma? Oh, you're saying you're <laughs> saying go to bed. you go to bed. <laughs> bay day, yeah, ma. That's a, that's a command. <laughs> say, hit the iron, zinc the. We're just struggling along. We have to make a song. <laughs> I love that film. I'm going to watch it again tonight. Melody, go Dorothy. Hey, go, hey, go a cold bot. Oh. <laughs> when I see y'all again, I'm going to be dancing like that girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go, boy, bonta. Oh, good night. Good night.
Cope de aim de. Oh. Oh. Night, all of you. Pray for me. Oh. Ega aim oi bonto. Oh. Ega ba oi bonto. Oh. Go te bado. Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs>